So a while ago, I posted a short about this Call of Duty zombie sign that I 3D printed, and a couple of people were asking me for the STL files, or were asking me if I 3D modeled this. And no, I did not. As you guys can see, this zombies portion right here looks exactly like the logo that comes from the game. And that's exactly what it is. It is literally a 2D model brought to life thanks to a software that I found online. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a super simple and free way to create any 3D model from any 2D image. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the video. So I just wanted to start off by saying that this process does not always work 100% how you think it's going to. And while it does take 2D images and creates a 3D model from it, it's not going to take like a picture of a teddy bear and then create the entire back and underneath and everything of it. All it's going to do is look at an image and sort of take the depth from it and raise it. You can either create small decorations, like if you take a picture of a Pokeball, it'll actually separate the white from the black and the red and sort of raise it up and separate it, like I'll show you guys in the software or even make cool wall decor if you wanna find a specific sort of word or shape of a logo and it'll just make a model for it and then you can just print it off. And again, this online software on a website is completely free. You don't need to make an account or anything like that. And it's extremely simple to use. You don't need to learn how to 3D model or anything like that. So now let's hop on over to the computer where I can show you guys how to do this process. Okay, so we're up on Google and we're going to go ahead and search up the image that we want. I'm going to choose the Pokeball, go over to images and just find the image that you would like. So for the sake of this video and just to keep things simple, I'm going to use this image right here. Go ahead and save the image. Then you're going to go back over to the search bar and type in image to STL. And you're going to see this website right here. And it's going to say that it can convert any PNG 2D images into 3D STL files. Once the website opens up, go ahead and go to upload a file and upload the image that you just selected. Go ahead and click on invert output and convert to STL. And as you guys can see, it created a 3D model from that image, but I only wanted the Pokeball itself and not the background. So in case you have this issue, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that as well. Go ahead and search up background remover and click on this first one right here. Upload your image and it will automatically erase that background. Then you can download this, then head back over to the image to SDL, click on convert another, and you can either invert it or not invert it actually if you wanted to. I'm just going to not do it for the sake of this video on this one. And as you guys can see, this is the image without the background. Now what I do recommend doing as well, for some reason it has a lot of weird spikes that come up along the edges just because of the pixels. So if you go ahead and go to options, click on enable smoothing, that will allow it to sort of smooth out all of those weird spikes then you can click on convert and there is your image and as you can see the lower resolution the image when you really get up close to it it's going to be worse of a 3d model but if you're not a huge fan of it you can always go ahead and retry it and if you go over to generate normals you can actually click on vertex and this will help smooth it out as well and in case you wanted the backside to sort of just replicate what's going on over here and you want it to just be a front and back model you can click on edit Go to options and then Z axis mirror, and this will actually replicate it on the back side as well. So you can have it on both sides, which is pretty cool. And I'm just gonna do another one that I found. And this one obviously has a little bit more shadows and a glare onto it. Once again, I'm going to enable that smoothing and then just leave everything else. And there you have it. And I was playing around a little bit with the detail editor um, with the high, medium, and low. And you really can't tell, to be honest. So this is it on low. You can see the rugged spots from here. So I guess if you put it on the high, it should kind of go away a little bit, which it doesn't, it actually makes it worse. Uh, probably because it is high detail, it sort of catches everything. So depending on what you have, you might just want to leave it on low. And it's a, it's a pretty good looking model. I would definitely recommend this if you found a picture of a logo or something, if you made like a logo with words or a certain image they found online that's very crisp and a high resolution use this software. This software definitely is not going to be used for someone who's trying to create really, really good models. It's definitely meant for just a custom 3D model. And I'm going to go ahead and download the first Pokeball that we have created a model of. And I have just uploaded the image into the slicer. And as you can tell from here, obviously not the best in the world. The resolution of the image was kind of low. But for just taking an image online and wanting to make a 3D model of it, it's pretty good. Then I'm going to go over to the paint tool and start the color off on black. Have white and red. And just fill in the spots that I want to change the color of. Okay. 
Okay, and that is how you can make a 3D model from any 2D image. I found this site a while ago and I created that zombie sign and I think I'm going to try to make my logo and put it on the back wall over there. I've been wanting to do that for a while and maybe put some lights around it or something like that to sort of make a cool 3D version of my logo and then have it placed up behind me. And if you guys do like this idea and you're in the market right now for a 3D printer, check out this video right here where I do a full unboxing review and setup of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, which right now is the best budget and beginner friendly 3D printer. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more 3D printing content. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.